Hello and welcome back to the Budapest Chronicles. My name is Mark and I will be your host. <laughs> I'm making um, these videos as a form of reflection um, on the number of years I used to live here in Budapest. Um, and now I'm back again to be with my daughter Olivia. I thought I would take the opportunity to, to, yeah, to make some videos as a memory and to think of some of the stories attached to some of the areas that I happen to be in, um, recording some of the stories behind them. So with that in mind, let me get on with why we're here today. So behind me, you will see a series of buildings. Um, and the reason they're significant is that's actually where I moved to from um, the Buddha Hills. As you may, and again, another added, added bonus because, you know, again, I moved into a more dynamic part of the city, a much, much nicer uh, neighborhood uh, with parks, bars, restaurants, life. <laughs> and there was some life, I can, I can promise. Um, but also I had the added value of a castle district right behind me, um, which takes you into another world. And I'm going to take you up there right, right now. Hi, I'm back. And so I've saved you 450 steps coming up here, but it's worth it because here we are right now. Some view, huh? And now I'm taking you through into the central area of, of the castle district, which, you know, is another town in its own way. I mean, it's predominantly for tourists, of course, but they're not here all the time. And then you do get, tend to get a great place to sort of hang out, have a coffee or whatever you're doing, you know, in a little bit of solitude in a fantastic backdrop. I mean, I was absolutely stunned when I discovered this place, that it was literally, you know, behind my apartment. So, kind of, you know, this became like my secret, secret space, secret place. Um, and I really, you know, I became so attached to it that actually an opportunity came, and this is 96, so not now, obviously, to uh, buy an apartment here, which most people would have gone, why didn't you do it? And I asked myself that same question. Um, the problem was here during that time was there were many, many amazing places. And as you can imagine, just pick a city, any city that you, you know, um, in the early days, before it became, you know, popular, uh, there were a multitude of apartments and, and you know, one, two percent very rich people, the rest, not really. And there wasn't really a middle ground. So, you know, the wealthy people wanted expats as their tenants, if you like. Um, the paperwork and bureaucracy here to buy anything was beyond, well, beyond anything I've ever experienced before. And therefore, it wasn't really uh, particularly enticing. Um, and the other issue really was the fact that the rent that you could get here, if you wanted to rent it out or wanted to even sell it, was, you know, very, very small numbers of people. And I just thought it was all too much of a risk. And I walked away from the opportunity. Obviously, in hindsight, I would have been... Uh, laughing had I done that but this is another of life's lessons anyway just to round off the video today this is the fisherman's bastion and it really is uh, magnificent you have the former king here Matthias uh, on his castle on, on his horse and the castle behind but when you walk through these pillars and walkways you have the most spectacular view of Pest, of the downtown area. And I'm gonna quickly show you that before, before I finish today. <clears throat> so bear with me as we go through 
the walkway. I'm just going to dive down here, take you through this area. Oh, which is now, unfortunately, a restaurant. But if you can just uh, have a look through this, you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. Look at that. Parliament, Danube, and all of the, the city there. So you can imagine why I was pretty excited about discovering all of this. And I will take you through another journey in the next video. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this and you, you know you would like to have these videos come to you straight away, just subscribe. And if not, just like and send a comment and I'll get back to you. All the best from Budapest. See you. Bye.